Hi everyone, so I wanted to share my Tim Holtz configuration box that I created or that I put together. Um, basically, um, these are just, this is a, a crown from Once Upon a Time embellishment, some wooden flowers, I'm sorry, butterflies, wild orchid craft flowers. Um, this is a Prima uh, clock, it's a wooden button clock, the Tim Holtz Create bulb I like Disney so I have a pin and I added it here the oh look I'm missing a flower here oh I'll add one the paper in the background is actually um, it's called uh, tea, tea, tea Party from DCW uh, this is a, a dress form that I cut out with my silhouette and then I just grabbed regular pieces of paper that had writing and I folded it up to give it kind of like a 3D look. Some lace, Suprema Butterfly. These are, these, I don't know if you can see this too well. They're charms that I created out of beads. And this was from Michaels. This is a Tim Holtz vial. This is a bear that I cut off with my Cree cut, I believe, and then I glittered it up. Wild Orchid Crafts. I really love butterflies, so more butterflies, some some lace and some pearls. Um, these are just the uh, recollections embellishments. And oh and, and my edges are all done with um, the Tim Holtz. Uh, the washi tape, oh, what is it called? I can't remember. I think it's got a stamp on it or something. But, so yeah, so that's my configurations box. And this actually came inside um, a book. And, but I didn't put them together. I actually separated them. I painted it with Lumiere's uh, Halo Pink Gold. Then... Um, again, the backing is from the Tea Party um, DCW cardstock. My Inspire was a, a wood cutout from Michaels, and the other Inspire is a is a bulb from the Tim Holtz collection. Um, these are these are not Prima. I think these were. These were the Tim, the, I'm sorry, the Michaels butterflies that they had in the little, you know, grab things that were like $1.50 for a couple of them. Some lace and all of these flowers are wild orchid crafts. And what I did is I just um, covered them up with a little bit of gesso just to make it look a little bit more shabby chic. I did, uh, I did some modeling paste, some texture paste from... What is it? Dow Downy, I think, is, is the brand. And I kind of just did some flowers and some random some random circles here just, just to give it a little bit of texture, some difference. This is from Graphic 45, as is the key. Some more Wild Orchid Craft um, flowers. So... So this is my finished box. I'm kind of just using it like a, like a just, just a display kind of thing. You know, I have my, my box there, and right next to it, I, I have my configurations that I made. So I hope you guys like it, and I hope it gives you some ideas on what you can do. Thanks for watching.